Hi, hello everyone. My name is Abdul Vandegar, and today I like to show you this video on the chilies. These are the very famous chilies in Goa. We usually every home here, every Goan family use this chili for making tasty curries, fish curry, or, or even for veg curry. These chilies first we. plug the chilies and we dry it and then we store it in a container and then we use it for our daily use these are very costly uh, and this we known in our language gaunti chilies i'll take you closer to it to see how they look like some of them even uh, varies in size little bit uh, around uh, half inch big or small there are two three varieties grown in goa depending on the uh, which part of the state you are so these chilies are very famous believe me it's around 1000 rupees now for the 1 kilo see most of them are flowering now and some have even bear fruit i'll take you to this plantation we have planted some brinjals in between this so nice we have one well over there and uh, from motor we drive the water and with the help of this pipe we take it to all throughout this chili plantation we have made this raised bed and on this we have planted this chilies after every 10 days we apply fertilizer to this chilies at the age is some corn have been sown but not much just one few at the age is guess what it is this now this is the weeds weeding weeding of unwanted plants which comes up in between the chili plants we have removed just now and more the main task for this any plantation or any field crop is weeding it takes lot of people and lot of efforts and time to for weeding so you should have that patience to do it and should take some time out of your busy schedule to do weeding because if you don't do that weeding then all your nutrition will be eaten up by these weeds and your chilies won't get that sufficient nutrition which you provides them to bear good in large quantity and healthy fruits see this is a small patch we have grown of sweet potatoes it has come nicely see i'll bring closer to it this is all a sweet potato these are also gaunti sweet potato gaunti means the local variety it also fetches a good price over here it's very tasty believe me i just love it and see we have just used one chain link fences and these sticks to make a little fencing which protect this plantation from cows and some wild animals even the other people have done some plantation of chilies and other vegetables in their field these are like what you call it a uh, part of this plot and they are divided among many farmers so each one is doing their own what they like these are the vegetables grown for uh, winter crops like after 
uh, cold season November to December they start doing this uh, crops and in rainy season this all field all farm will be covered by paddy and people will grow paddy over here just rice and nothing else because this all these are the low lines areas all will fill with water or rain water and then they will do only paddy yes here are the beans these are the one of the easiest uh, crop to be sown and grown you have to just these are the sandy loamy like soil good sandy soil so uh, rain water moisture all this uh, moisture this is retained by this uh, soil and you have to just sow plow this field and sow your cow beans seeds and that's it and it will grow into beans after two three months and you will get nice see if you can see some pods or beans uh, those have come on this plants and this has to be plugged when matured and to be dried in sun and you will get all fetch a very good price for this also around 300 rupees per kilo this is also gaunty ones so anything which are the gaunty local ones are fetching high price so if anyone is interested please do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that notification button to get more of such beautiful videos thank you